Hello everyone, Scott Sylvan Bell! Coming to you live from my library. My friends call it the Body Language and Persuasion Bunker. Hey, we're gonna talk a little bit about the Body Language of Facial Hair. So, you know, I didn't shave today. It's one of the least favorite things for me to do. A little insight into my life here. And I have a five o'clock shadow. So I thought I'd share with you a little bit about what facial hair may mean. And I said may, because not all the time doesn't mean what I'm saying, okay? So for me, if you were to take a look at me at the end of the day, you may look at me and go, man, that guy has some hair that grows out pretty quick. Well, in all realities, I didn't shave today, right? I'm not a morning person. I don't like to get up early. I'm a, like, I'll stay up all night long type of person, sleep all day. So it very may, very may, well, me, the person who has facial hair, maybe in the same situation as me. Now, as I record this in 2012, just before summer, it's kind of the end thing right now to have a beard, right? So people may have facial hair, like a full beard, because it's the end thing to do. Let's go over goatees and mustaches. So, authority figures, police officers, T people of the type, maybe bouncers, may have a mustache. And for some reason, it's intimidating people. Or they may have a big, giant goatee, right? So, like, bikers are synonymous with having big, giant, long goatees where they're really long. Because they're intimidating. Okay? So, there's a couple reasons. Could be for social fun. It's the end thing to do. Could be because someone's like me and, you know, I really don't like to get up early in the morning and shaving's not my favorite thing to do. I'd rather play on the internet. Or it could be for intimidation. Now, there's a last reason we're going to go over. And sometimes when people have, I don't know, fears, and I don't want to use the word problems, they'll do things to mask them. So, like, typically when a woman gets out of a relationship, she won't cut her hair. It's like the thing that she hides behind. And so sometimes people who have facial hair and it's really long... It's a way for them to escape from being viewed. Okay, makes sense? So, you have the people who want to be in the in crowd, people who want to intimidate, people who, like me, sometimes just don't want to shave, and people who have not something to hide, but are hiding from something. Okay? So, if you could do a small favor me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, story, that'd be fantastic. To my right, to my left, above me, somewhere down here. There's a subscribe button, that'd be fantastic, cool. And uh, if you're on my website, there's a place for Facebook, StumbleUpon, Google, I don't know, there's so many different like places you can send stuff out. Do me a favor, set them all out. Line them up like that thing in the elevator when you go down and you hit all the buttons, you go Burk! That'd be really cool. Scott Sylvan Bell, only Scott Bell with a in the middle. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.